I am joined by Emmanuel Kerr and his dad, Caleb Otieno. And Emmanuel is in Makini School. He has planted 300 trees. He's only four years old. This is quite an impressive feat. So, Caleb, um, Emmanuel's dad, yeah? How, how, how did you even start this tree planting journey? Many thanks for having us here. We are grateful in this beautiful environment. So beautiful. And, uh, we also challenge you guys to plant trees, each and every one of you. Yeah. Uh, 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 we started uh, way back when he was two. Mm -hmm. We attended um, a function where people were, pra were planting trees. And uh, at that point is when we planted our first trees mm -hmm. together with the mother. Yeah. And uh, we decided to help him plant one. Yeah. And since then, he has been very excited. He keeps asking me, when, when are we going to plant the next tree? Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I kept uh, promising him until it reached a point when we had to plant and yeah. plant because you can't promise places. every other day yes yeah and so he has uh, brought that passion also in me and mm -hmm. i want to help him we are targeting to plant up to 1500 by the end of the year mm -hmm. and uh, we have been uh, doing this uh, the other day we did uh, our 300 tree yeah. at makini yeah and uh, it it was uh, it was excellent and people have been uh, now inviting us to go and plant more and more yeah um so how if you've said you may you just started through one campaign yes and he has done 300 is it that you're planting in one place or you normally move from one place to another now we move we move from a place to another mm -hmm. and uh the other day, we are actually two days ago, we were talking with the mother. We wanted him to have his nursery somewhere. Wow. Because uh, we keep buying seedlings and planting in different places. Mm -hmm. I know many people watch, uh, watch Black Boy. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I, it, it's my hope and prayer that all of us will pick up this uh, noble initiative. Yeah. Because uh, it is our responsibility. You mm -hmm. know, sometimes we look at others to come and do it. Yeah. Maybe a, an occasion, uh, an occasion like this. Like this yeah. Fortunately, we don't always have these occasions. That's true. But uh, you don't have to even to have a round of applause yeah. when, when you plant trees. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be popular when planting trees. But you are doing you for coming generations. There yeah. are many things that other generations did that you are benefiting from yeah. even today. Yeah. So this is a very uh, noble idea. He might not really know the importance now, yeah. but it's my hope and prayer that I'll inculcate this in him. Mm -hmm. Much as I wasn't, it wasn't in me, but right now I, I'm, I'm, I'm just encouraging even many other people to do this. Yeah. And even other children, let us inculcate it uh, in them, because as we continue, we see many things that are destroying our environment. That's true. Through that one campaign that you did is when you realize he has uh, some, some love for the environment, his environment. Yeah, from, from, from the last campaign, yeah. that is when I saw it fit to bring others on board. Yeah. You know, when we all pick up the habit, mm -hmm. like I've said, yeah. uh, it will have a good impact and we will, be, we will have a sense of responsibility. Yeah. It will be always, I remember growing up in Pumwani, sometimes yeah. we would come with an organization to clean up. And people will just litter and ask, when are you guys coming to clean? But when we are doing it ourselves, mm. we will see the importance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Caleb. Thank you so much. Thank you, Manuel. I hope next time to Tonga and Yeah. We are going to plant trees. Daddy has told me that he has nominated us. Yeah. Yeah. So we are going to take up that challenge okay. for planting trees. Thank you, guys. Thank no you. Thanks. And yeah, I hope you guys have been challenged. This little man has planted 300 trees and he's only four years old. Mm.